I'm Ian Trenaskiewicz from Nature Publishing Group and Palgrave Macmillan, which is now a part of Springer Nature. The editorial policy of the Nature Journals, which I have on screen here, um, is for, at a bare minimum, data to be made available to editors, reviewers and readers without undue qualification, so data on request. However, the strong preference of the Nature Journals is for data to be available in public repositories wherever possible and for those repositories to be specific to particular types of discipline or subjects. And of course there are mandates in place for certain scientific communities where data must be made public and we have a list of the types of data and the supporting repositories where there are mandates in place. To support our authors in getting their data into a public repository for their discipline wherever possible, we recommend that they consult the list of recommended data repositories that is uh, managed by the scientific data journal team. And so this policy lists and links to a list of approved repositories on the scientific data website where we encourage authors to find an appropriate home for their data. Where a subject-specific repository does not exist, then general repositories such as Figshare and Dryad are recommended as alternatives. So given our multidisciplinary coverage of different areas of science and the number of different journals, the types of repositories and the types of data underlying publications are quite varied. Historically, one would be more likely to find references to data sets in the text of articles in the types of article and the types of research where there are mandates in place such as these that I'm highlighting here. As well as data in repositories, I think it's important not to ignore that supplementary information files can still currently hold data that support publications, but in terms of type of data, it's probably easier to think about the types of file that supplementary information tend to be. So commonly types of file are spreadsheets, video files and PDFs. Of course supplementary information files can hold text as well, such as supplementary, supplementary information, uh, supplementary methods. In terms of how supporting data sets are referenced in Nature articles, we have a mixed methodology I would say at the moment. Um, I'm going to show a couple of examples. For the most part, um, data that have particular types of accession code are referenced in a dedicated section of the text and we have robust linking rules in place where particular types of accession number or data set identifier are recognized and then hyperlinks to those are created as part of the production process. So looking at this example from Nature Communications, we have an accession code section of the article and in this case we have three different types of referenced accessions, so from GenBank, Geo and the Sequence Read Archive with the hyperlinks all in place and this is uh, above the reference list. We also have um, another example here with the session codes and in this case the reference sessions are from the Protein Data Bank. We also have another approach in place which is from scientific data which is a data journal and we actually have formal data citations um, in all articles in scientific data. So these follow immediately after the reference list. And so this is in compliance with the Joint Declaration on Data Citation Principles. And this system uh, enables us to support a much wider array of data set identifiers, including those such as this one from Dryad, where DOIs are associated with data sets. The format here is author, repository name, identifier with a link, and then the year. So we have a number of uh, so, some mixed methodologies at the moment, but um, I think we, we need to work towards a um, more standardized solution and a way for articles to support the, the formal citation of data sets in reference lists. So I, I would say that the, the data references and citations are certainly uh, reasonably human readable at the moment, but the machine readability could be further improved.
also to, just to give you one other example, GigaScience, which is published by Biomed Central, which is now part of Spring in Nature, also have um, formal citations to data in the GigaScience repository in a dedicated section of the article, such as this example here. So in terms of what, what we can do better, I mentioned the Nature Publishing Group and in fact Biomed Central have endorsed the Joint Declaration on Data Citation Principles and longer term uh, we would want to find a robust solution that would ensure the quality and usefulness of citations to data across all these different kinds of repositories but they're useful both for human readers so that they can understand where the data are and find the links but also for machine readers when we're looking to harvest and collect up data article citations and associations. The two main dependencies for implementing uh, a better system are the editorial policy and the processes for encouraging or requiring data to be cited across all of these different disciplines and the technological enhancements to, to make this happen in, in the ideal way. On technology, uh, we recognize that um, changes to XML structure and article presentation are needed, specifically implementation of the journal article tagging suite JAPS 2.0 which um, for a, a large publisher with lots of, of different journals and imprints, that kind of, um, that kind of work does, does take time and, and is a significant undertaking. On the process and, and policy side, I think there are um, particular challenges which perhaps could warrant further discussion in the, the publishing and research community as the best ways to handle them. In particular, where we have articles that have very large number of, of data citations, such as articles that prevent a large number of accession codes, how is the best way to handle those in article reference lists, particularly when a number of journals do still face real limitations in terms of, of, of being printed as well as being online. I also think that we may um, have to engage authors with discussions about citing works. Um, there may be um, academic preferences and cultures about the inclusion of reference lists, particularly things like the very large number of accession codes um, in, in article reference lists, which, which we can't ignore. Another um, more complex issue potentially, which I'm, I'm not sure any publisher has come up with the ideal solution for yet, is how we differentiate between data that are generated by a study from data which are analyzed by a study and separating those also from data which are merely referenced by a study. So there are uh, three different situations there which um, a, the, the ideal data citation system would, would aim to, to capture and address so that they can make those kind of article data links and, the, and, and their nuances um, clear for uh, both the machine readers of, of the literature and for human readers who uh, um, are often just trying to find the, the, the links between uh, articles and data. Thank you.